Hey guys, welcome back and Smith from Backbench Codel. So in this video, we'll get the comment list of a particular video and then we'll add a comment on that video. So first of all, let's look at the documentation. So let's go to the documentation. Look at this, you have two section comments and the comment threads. Just look at the comment threads and then just look at the list. Inside this list, at the first use cases, the list by video ID, the example retypes, all the comment threads associated with a particular video. That's what we need. You can see the endpoint which is slash comment threads. Let's see the parameters. Part you can pass the snippet, reply and ID. We don't want the replies, we only want the top level comments, so we'll only pass the snippet. And then the channel ID we don't really need. We need a video ID. Max result you can specify to make this paginated. I'm not going to make this paginated because it's again repetitive. Okay, cool. So let's create the accent creator. I'll be creating a separate accent creator. Just go inside this Redux folder, inside the actions folder, let's name this comments, comments.accent.js, okay cool, let's copy a accent creator which is copy any random, all have the same structure, copy this, just go to the comments section, put this here, close the sidebar, okay. So first of all, I need to create three accent types, so inside the accent types.js, create three accent types let's name this common list request common list success common list fail so export const success common list success copy this copy this this is common list fail and this is common list request request can i get the common list please okay now just go to comments accent okay first of all change the accent creator's name let's name this get comments of a video by id or get comments by ID of in camel casing nice I need the video ID and then at the starting of the request just dispatch comment list request should be auto imported nice I need the request instance should be auto imported from source API okay the endpoint is comment threads let me just copy this comment threads I'm using dark theme by the way comment threads and then the params I can only pass the snippet okay and the ID should be video ID so video ID or ID as video ID and when the request is success this is comment list success comment list success should be auto imported the payload is data.items if anything goes wrong just log out the error and fire comment list fail this is response.data.message that's it save this and now just dispatch this accent creator inside the comments component so comments grab the use effect pass the dependency array okay just import the use effect from react redux that is cool save this i need a dispatch function use dispatch it's coming from again react redux hook should be auto imported from react redux nice I have the dispatch function and just dispatch this when the component did mount. Dispatch the name of the accent creator is get comments of a video by ID. Just auto import this. Nice. I have auto imported. So again, if your auto import does not work, just manually import this. I mean, that's common. Like, why am I saying that? Okay. You need to pass the video ID. And how can you get the video ID? You can get the video ID from the watch screen. So just go to the watch screen. Just pass the video ID. You can copy this from the video metadata. Just pass the video ID as a property. So just copy this video ID, destructure this inside these comments. I have the video ID. And now just pass this video ID as the argument. Also inside the dependency array. Also pass the dispatch. That's it. So I'm firing the accent creator when the component did mount, but I have no reducer. Come on, let's create the reducer. So just go to reducer folder, let's create the reducer comments reducer, come on. Comments reducer, comments.reducer.js, okay, just copy a reducer from this channel reducer, let's copy this cause this has the same structure, put this here, nice, first of all, just rename this, no, before that I need to close the sidebar. Okay, so this is comment list reducer. At the initial state, the loading is true. Then the channel, I don't need the channel. 
replace this with the comments which is at the initial state null and that's it i don't need the subscription status pass the action as the second parameter and then just destructure this match the case first one is list comment request list comment or comment list comment list request should be auto imported nope should be auto imported yes so it is just making the loading true that is fine and then when the comment list success copy the previous state update the comments with the payload and the loading is false that is absolutely fine and then the third case when the comment list fail comment list fail if anything goes wrong in our request so comments actually i don't need to override the comments cause if i have the comments let it be there and the loading is false and the error is payload that is fine i don't need the case set subscription status save this fine and now just import the reducer in the store store.js okay just grab the reducer from comments this is comment list reducer just put the comment list reducer inside the combined reducer pass this as the comment list comment list that's it save this now at this point i should get the data let's see just go to redux store redux 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 go to the state here is my comment list and here is my comments okay so let me just simplify the data okay so inside a single comment i have the snippet i have the comment id inside the snippet i have the video id i have the top level comment that's what i want inside the top level comment i have the snippet again and then the comment details so actually i need to extract the snippet so let's see just go to the comment list not comment list comments comments.js okay first read the data so const comments use selector should be coming from react redux pass the selector function it will get the global state and from global state just go to the comments or comments list the name of the reducer dot comments so i have the comments now i just need to grab the top level comment so let's create const underscore comments a separate variable com nets nice comment so comments so just basically grab the comments if i have the comments just map over this grab every comment and just extract the comment comment dot snippet dot top level comment and then again snippet dot snippet that's it i have the underscore comments and now inside this array just remove the array and just put the underscore comments that's it just map over this grab every comment as the first value and the second value as the index i'll pass the index as the key so inside this comment just pass the comment as comment property and the key as i index save this now try to avoid the index as the key especially when the list is getting modified but for this purpose this is absolutely fine okay so i have this comment inside this comment property so just go inside the comment component i can destructure this of course comment okay now from this comment i need to destructure some data let's see what i need to destructure just go inside the snippet inside the top level comment inside the snippet lot of snippet i need the text display which is the actual text and then author display name author profile author profile image url and also the publish at this publish at okay so just go to the comment so const destructure from comment first of all author display name second one author profile image url copy this cause i'm sure i'll be making a typo author image url and then the publish at and the text display so now just replace the data so author display name so just remove the sumit de put a curly brace author display name publish set copy the publish set remove the date inside the moment put the publish set that is fine and the comment text display cool and the author profile image url just remove this source and pass the author image url save this let's see we must have some error refresh this cannot read property comments of undefined 
it's occurring in the use selector this is comments list this should be comment list yeah this is comment list so just rename this this is inside comments.js comments.js mm -mm -mm. inside the use selector this is comment list not comments list save this now another error sure damn sure so cannot read property map of undefined i should use an optional chaining i guess so just go inside this comments comments.map save this let's see look at this large screen nice like look at this out of the 11 comments i made 9 comments self support like test 90 test 8 test 9 anyway let's create the functionality to add a comment so just go to a documentation inside the comment threads just go inside the insert okay so this is the same endpoint comment threads the request type is post the request has to be authorized which is obvious and then see the request body so here is the description you must specify a value for this property snippet dot top level comment dot snippet dot text original so a structure has to be like this okay we'll do that just go to a redux folder inside the redux folder inside the comments action let's create an action first of all just close the unnecessary files hmm. copy the action first of all change the name this is add comment the name of the action creator it needs a video id and also a text actual comment text it needs the access token so i need to pass the get state get state nice just remove this we don't need that you can use a dispatch loader or something like that and then the request which is important okay so first of all it has to be a post request so request dot post the endpoint is comment threads that is fine i need to pass the data so let's create the data and the data object i should say const obj okay let's create an object so first of all i need to put the snippet inside the snippet i need to put the video id as the id i mean id as the video id and then top level comment inside an object let's pass the snippet inside the snippet the text original which is text that's it save this and pass the object as the data so obj cool inside the configuration object inside the params the part is snippet that is fine i don't need the video id because i have mentioned that in the data okay fine and then i need to attach the access token inside the header so just copy this from a request let's say channel action yeah this one this headers authorization copy this go to comments action put this inside this configuration object that is fine actually it does not return any data so i can remove the data nice and if the request is success i need to create an action type first of all export const create comment success success and create comment fail that's it save this go to the action so if the request is success i need to pass create comment success so the action type is create comment success would be auto imported i don't have any payload and if anything goes wrong create comment fail should be auto imported that is fine and now just copy this action creator i've also exported this so just go to the comments comments.js inside this handle comment i need to dispatch this so first of all i need the dispatch i've already got the dispatch so just dispatch add comment the name of the action creator and you need to pass the video id and the text now i need to get the text using the state i don't have any state right now i guess yeah let's create a state to make this a controlled input const text set text use state initial state empty string import the use state from react nice now inside this form inside this input the value is text and on change set the text with e dot target dot value as simple as that nice and i'm triggering this handle comment function when the on submit event is triggered and inside this handle comment just dispatch add comment and pass the text that is cool 
Now before dispatching, I want to prevent the default behavior. So I'll get the event. So e dot prevent de default so that my page does not refresh. And then also check the text dot length is zero. It means I can't add the comment, bro. If the text dot length is zero, just return. That's it. Let's see. It should add the comment. The app is still compiling. <laughs> refresh this. Let's try to add a comment. API 68. Press the comment. I don't know it is added or not. Go to Redux. Create comment success actually. Create comment success. Okay. Now when the comment is success, I need to reload this comment list and also need to reset this input data. Okay. So just go inside this comments.js. After dispatching, set the text, empty string, and just go inside this action, comments action. Inside this add comment action, when the request is success, I need to refetch my comment list. So just dispatch the action creator is the name of the action creator is get comments of video by ID. So get comments of video by ID. I need to pass the video ID. So this is ID that is cool. Save this. Hmm. You can see the page is already refreshed and I can see my API 68. The next comment is API 60, 78. Click on comment. The text is reset. But where is my comment? Now this is the problem. Just refresh this. Now you can see this API 78. Now how can we solve this? The idea is after adding the comment, we'll wait for the two seconds and then we'll refresh the list. Let me tell you what I mean. So just go inside this comment section. So when you are fetching the list, just wait for two seconds. And the way we can wait for two seconds is using set timeout. Set timeout. It takes a callback function. Inside this callback function, just pass this dispatch. And the second value is the number of milliseconds. 2000 means two seconds. Let's see. It should solve the problem. You can wait for three seconds. You can wait for one second. But maximum we can do this. So let's say API 88 click on comment nope let's add for three seconds three seconds save this so it takes a little bit more time to add this in the public api so let's add another comment api 99 look at this create comment success and here it is api 88 api 99 this time no refresh needed now i need to render total number of comments but this endpoint this slash comments endpoint does not return you the total number of comments but we can get that from the watch screen so just go inside the watch screen watch screen.js inside this watch screen i am getting the video right so from this video i can get the video statistics from the video statistics i can get the total number of comment okay so inside this comments just pass another property let's say total comments Okay, first grab the video with an optional chaining statistics. If I have the statistics, just grab the comment count. Comment count. Nice. Now just restructure the total comments. Inside the comments. Mm -mm, here. Total comments. And now just render this total comments. Here. No 1, 2, 3, 4. Total comments. That's it. Save this. Let's see. Here it is, 17 comments. Nice. Okay, so with this, the left section is almost complete. I need to handle this like button and the dislike button. And we'll do that later. And in the next section, we'll be rendering this related videos. So these videos are related to this particular video. And we'll do that in the next section. But for now, if you are enjoying this project, please hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, I make videos on web development and web designing. So if it sounds interesting, somehow sounds interesting, please consider subscribing my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.